During these winter months here and owning chickens or any animals for that matter, combating frozen water really starts to be a problem. As you can see here. And unfortunately for you guys who are like us, who don't have any power outlets here in the back, we don't have the choice of using electric heater bowls or anything like that. If that's the case, go ahead and use those. But if you don't, stick around for this video because I want to tell you guys what water you should use and then what tips you can use to keep your water from freezing so fast. The door just opened up, but I think only about two of them have uh, stepped their feet out so far. So, winter time, cold weather, snow. The chickens aren't number one fans of this. You gotta eat and get water eventually. All right, so you have chickens and you live in temperatures like us here in Michigan that are definitely gonna be reaching below zero degrees Fahrenheit. I'm not sure what that is in Celsius. I'll put that down below here. So for anyone who doesn't use Fahrenheit, here's what it would mean in Celsius. That is 33 degrees below freezing. So that means you're gonna have water that freezes. And if you're like us, whether you don't want to use electricity in your coop or you don't have access to use electricity, then that means you don't have any heated water bowls. So you're attempting all these different ways of how can I deal with this freezing water during the winter time? And one of the first waters that you buy for chickens probably looks something similar to this. This is definitely one of the main waterers for chickens. When you go to any farm stores, this is the one that they try to sell everybody. And although during the summertime or springtime, this waterer does a great job. There's really not many problems with it. During the winter time though, you're gonna start to have a lot of issues with it. There's a few things that are wrong with this waterer. Number one, the amount of water that it actually holds on the outside is in that little rim that goes all the way around in a circle of it. And there's really not that much water. So the less amount of water that's there, the quicker that water is going to freeze up on you. And that is what we're trying to avoid. You definitely don't want the water to freeze fast because the faster it freezes, the less likely your chickens are actually getting water during the winter time and it is important that they have it. And number two, for these waters, and this happened to us all last winter time, because this is the one that we used last winter, is you'll spend one to two times a day coming out here, cracking that ice all around that rim, trying to get it so that that spout actually gets water to come out of it, and then it's just gonna do that again. And you are just constantly coming out here, working at it, making sure it doesn't freeze over. The number one bad problem about this one, when this thing is truly frozen and you want to try to access it quick so you have it for your chickens, and you try to unscrew the two parts and take this lid off of it, you have a very high risk of this thing cracking. Because it is made out of plastic, plastic and freezing are not two things that go together very well. So you will spend a lot of time out here working at it, trying to get it, and cracking some like we did last time. I think we probably went through about two to three waterers last winter just trying to figure this out. If this is a chicken water that you really want to use for any reason, then I would just suggest having two of them. That's probably the best bet for the winter time is that you can always just bring a new one out, take one in, let time for that one to thaw out so you can take your time with it so it doesn't crack. That's realistically the best way to use this system but it's not gonna stop the problem with that freezing around the rim. So this water, I would say is a no for winter time. The second main water system that a lot of people like to use, and this is one that we use during the whole spring and summertime for us, for our chickens this year. And during the spring and summer, it works out amazing. What are you guys doing in there? Wrestling around? The second common type of chicken water that a lot of people like to use, which I would say this one might be one of the worst ones you can use during the winter time. You might not have this same exact water bucket, but it's the either water cups or water nipple systems. And that's because these things love, love, love to freeze over. Are you guys still wrestling? If you look right here, you can see this one is just completely falling off. But this one here too is just full of ice. Here, let me pick that up. So you can see they get completely full of ice and even if you end up breaking all this ice, the part that they have to push to actually get the water to flow out, this yellow part right here, it ends up being frozen on the inside of that system right here and no water comes out for them. So these chickens are absolutely having a very hard time. It is another chicken water that's made out of plastic. Plastic likes to freeze right away and a lot of ice and plastic will sometimes cause that plastic to crack and break. I would stay away from those this winter as well. Which leads me to the number one chicken water that you want to use this winter if you don't have electricity. And you're just gonna wanna keep it nice and simple with a big black rubber bowl. 
These are in farm stores, you can easily find them. During the winter time, they work amazing for your chicken water. Let me show you why. So right here, it was all frozen this morning, but it's thawed out a little bit. But the top layer is still ice. The best part about the black rubber bowl is that even when it is completely frozen over, all you have to do is tilt it upside down, step on it, and that ice just plops right out. So as long as you're okay with coming out and giving them a fresh clean thing of water every single day, which you shouldn't be because that's what they need, then this is the perfect system for you because when it freezes over, it doesn't ruin anything. You're not gonna break your bowl. It is a very simple setup. There's not much to it. It's just a bowl and some water. And that black rubber bowl is so thick that it does take extra time for that to freeze over. So it lasts a little bit longer. And the bigger bowl you get, the longer that takes to freeze. So I would say to get one of the bigger size bowls so that it's gonna take longer time to freeze. And this might be what you're looking for. Let me just give you a few extra tips that you can try so that your water doesn't freeze over as easy. Normally people do this with like a tennis ball or ping pong balls. Ping pong balls work really good. We don't have any of those things right now. These are just gonna be more for demonstration just so you see the idea of it. So you're gonna take a few items and you are going to place them so that they float on top of your water bowl. Wind is one of the big number one reasons why your chicken water wants to freeze on top of it being cold, obviously. But that cold wind will start to cause that water to start freezing. So the more that you can cause those ripples and that top layer of the water, which starts the ice, these items rippling on the top of the water will allow it to not freeze as fast and can hopefully slowly keep fighting against that top water trying to freeze to allow it to stay unfrozen. The second thing that you can try, and it's basically the same idea, is you're gonna take an empty water bottle, empty bottle, plastic bottle. You are gonna fill that bottle with about one third salt, and then the rest of it fill with water. Salt water does not freeze. So the object is, is that bottle will stay unfrozen. Then you will place that bottle inside your chicken water and it'll do that same effect, which just it being inside there and that bottle not freezing, will allow the water to freeze just a little bit slower. So those are your two main things that you can do if you don't have electricity to try to keep this bowl from freezing. Keeping chickens during the winter time can be tough as it is. Trying to make sure that they are good, making sure that you don't have to come out here and maintenance them as much. So I feel like any way that you can find solutions to these kind of problems is a huge win for one, your chickens. They're gonna have fresh water to drink that's not frozen. And two, for you, so you don't have to come out here and check to see how that water is doing or when you do come to check that it is frozen so then you have something to deal with once again. So it's only the start of the winter season for us, but the water has been starting to freeze here the past month and a half. This system has definitely been a huge help for us compared to using those plastic waters that would crack on us and freeze right away. We'd have to come out here probably about twice a day to try to fix the water problem with our chickens. We have had a lot less problems with this. During this cold season, everybody, just try to stay with it. I understand that this is not the best time to be homesteading. There's no garden to be working with. The animals, to come out here and take care of them, it is a lot colder. So try to stay warm, try to keep your animals happy, and have a great day and a better tomorrow, and we'll see you guys in the next one.